Hi, it's Levi from Delphi Technologies. In this how-to video, we'll be talking about common rail injectors and why the correct coding is vital when replacing them. This is a common rail injector. It takes high pressure fuel in here and there is an electrical connection here. This provides power and a signal from the control unit that determines when the injector operates and for how long. The fuel leaves the nozzle through several microscopic holes here and enters the combustion chamber. The pressure in the fuel that is injected is typically greater than 1,600 bar, which is over 20,000 PSI. Let's pause the technical bit for a few seconds for a safety notice. The fuel pressures generated by a common rail diesel system are enough to cause an embolism. Be cautious when checking for leaks, especially around the high pressure rail or the injectors. Certainly do not fire a live injector without the correct equipment and safety procedures. Okay, back to how advanced this technology is. These devices are extremely precise. The internal components are made to tolerances of just a few microns, a micron being one thousandth of a millimeter. At such high pressures, any pressure inconsistencies lead to a variation in the amount of fuel the injector will deliver when operated for a specific time. No manufacturing process is perfect though. Tiny variations in manufacturing tolerances lead to changes in the performance of the injector. At this microscopic precision, we can say that no two injectors are identical. These two injectors are the same type. However, they are different because of either manufacturing tolerances or one may have been remanufactured with different internal components. If these were put into an engine, there would be an imbalance in the performance of the cylinders. The codes here are generated when testing the injectors. These relate to the individual characteristics. When we talk about coding an injector, what we are actually doing is telling the engine management system the characteristics of the injectors so that it can compensate for their differences. There are lots of terms for this, such as trim code, compensation code, C2I, IMA, IQA, and C3I. Really, we just need to know where to find the code and then go through the process of coding. This engine had a faulty injector, which has now been replaced. I took a photo of the code before fitting the injector, and I am now going to use the Delphi Technologies DS180 diagnostic tool to input the code. After selecting the correct model, select adjustments and service functions, and then injector programming. You should always read ahead through the process initially to understand what is about to be completed. However, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to look at the current injector codes. It is the injector for cylinder one that has been replaced, so I'm going to select this cylinder and now enter the code of the replacement injector. Once the adaption is complete, check the code and confirm that it's okay. Start the vehicle and ensure that it runs and drives smoothly and no error codes are present. Setting the coding gives the engine management system a starting point. It will then make fine adjustments or trim to suit that injector. That's it for common rail injector coding. Thanks for watching today. For more how-tos and support, follow us on social media or visit our Masters of Motion online hub. And if you'd like to continue your learning further, check out our range of expert-led courses at the Delphi Training Academy. See you next time.